Here comes my first week, my first week with the uh, XC6 compared to the um, to the Tesla Model 3. It's different. I'm still working the same amount of time, but but it's 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 it's, it's different. Watch, you, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. Now this, this is my whole entire week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The last couple of days was really good. Okay, except for my first three, especially that $89 one. And that was because there was just, I was out 12 hours. I was out 12 hours and I didn't get nothing. All right, now in fuel, I was averaging the same thing, uh, 38, 30, 36, or $16. Well, that was that day because um, it was just it was just not work, so I was sitting around a lot. Okay, um, and that was let me see, that was a total average of uh, about thirty thirty dollars and seventy something cents a week. So um, it averaged a lot cheaper this week than it was uh, last week. Now, look at my trips. I only did a ninety trips, ninety trips. Now, if I was going to compare this to all of my other weeks with the Tesla, it was 121, 125, 110, 110, 127. Now I'm doing a lot less trips. That means that I'm actually sitting down, a, I'm sitting a lot, a lot, like a lot. I'm sitting around like a lot. All right, now when it comes to my mileage in a daily, um, you know, I got 149, 59, 73, you know, it's a lot less than what my Tesla now. I can't put it up there for my Tesla because I wasn't using GridWise when I had the Tesla. But I know on my Tesla, I was averaging somewhere about 250 to 300 miles per day in the car because I was driving like a lot. And as always, uh, the majority of my calls came from Lyft, no, from Uber. And Lyft was secondary, you know, with, uh, um, with Uber and the other 44% came with Lyft. Now the trips, look at this. Now, um, I got 48 trips with uh, Uber and 42 with Lyft, but the earnings per trip was $22.43 per trip, and then uh, that's with Uber, and then $20.71 per trip, and that's with Lyft. And then uh, the average for the whole entire week per trip was uh, $21.63. Um, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good. Let me see if I can find what I was getting with the Tesla. All right, so yeah, so look at this. So with the Tesla, when I was doing food and deliveries, uh, you know, it was eighteen dollars per trip, one uh, eighteen dollars forty-two cents per week, uh, per trip, per trip for the week, and that was because I was doing a combination of uh, deliveries of nine sixty-two. So I was it was nine sixty-two per delivery that I was getting. Um, I said that's pretty good for deliveries. All right. Uh, the next week it was sixteen dollars sixty-two cents. All right, for uh, the ride sharing aspect of it, uh, and six dollars and fifty-nine cents. It's it's not it's not that much money compared from um, from the truck to Uber. You know, um, doing it with the SUV, um, I'm I'm a couple of dollars above, you know, the Tesla. The only difference is that I'm still working the same amount of time or maybe more, but I'm sitting around a lot. Like the majority of the time I'm sitting there, like right now I'm recording this video and I've been out here for like two hours. I haven't gotten a ride in like two hours. But every time I get a ride, it's a really good one. Okay. Now I have more time. Whoa, yeah. All right, so now let's take a little history down memory lane when I first started. When I first started and about the same time this year, all right, um, all right, let's take a look at my finance. I don't like showing my numbers, but all right. This is pre-pandemic. This is when I first started. This is uh, 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 when the pandemic started and my ebook wasn't even created. I hit the road. It was September 2020. Look at that, 2020. All right, uh, my first week, I was like 1,618. Oh, look, all lift, all lift. 
Then on October, I took it easy. It was only $245, but this is when I, when I quit. I think it was the 27th, see, it's the 23rd, and I believe the 27th was when I, um, when I quit. And then in November, it was all lift. It was all lift. When we go back to 2021, here's my slow season. January, February, but this is because I just started. I just started. And on January was when I was uh, qualified for Uber. And, and now you see me multi-apping, multi-apping. Now, as the months go by, you start realizing that it goes 6,000, 5,000, and then March. Boom, 9, 10, 8, 7, 10. All right, everything's $5, $5. It starts getting really like, and then, and then so, somewhere around here at about midway, all right, or close to midway is when somebody decided, hey, you got to write an ebook because I'm hitting these things consistently. Um, I don't really even have a slow season, but January, February, five dollars. February was my slowest, but um, November and December. November, I made seven thousand and seventy dollars, but it was mostly lift. You don't need a discount. Five dollars. It was mostly lift. And uh, December, I made nine thousand one hundred and seventy. And that was actually mostly, uh, look at that. Okay, so uh, it was Lyft and then um, Uber and Uber Eats are 2022. 2022, all right? Now, this is after my ebook. After my ebook. It's just consistently, consistently. Just keep going back and forth, you know, 9, 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Now we're in November. All right, uh, which is you know what I'm, uh, what I was doing in November last year, no, this year, this year. I'm sorry, this year, this year, October I made seventy nine sixteen. November I made eighty five, uh, eighty five seventy six. Five dollars, five dollars. It's in a total. Um, December is coming up. All right, but it's just this is this is my strategy ebook. It's my strategy ebook ever since. 2021 is my strategy ebook. My strategy ebook came somewhere in the beginning right here because all of a sudden after March, you know, it was it was just I just kept hitting it over and over and over again. But now it's gonna be a whole like a totally new experience uh with the Cadillac XT6 because now it's not no more with the um with the Tesla. So I gotta come up with something new. And after seeing those numbers for the past two years, I mean if you my ebook, the it's only five dollars for that ebook. Would you believe it? That I made that much money doing it my way and doing deliveries too. Keep going back and forth in between the apps and then doing everything in a strategic way. And every time I see something on my phone, then I'm gonna put that particular strategy uh, uh, to work into it. But you know, at the end of the day, I also have um, you know other options if nothing works out with the XT6. All right, and doing you know doing ride sharing with it. If nothing works out the way I'm thinking it should work out um, what I could do is you know Turo this car put this uh, the truck on Turo rent it out and then go back to the rental um, that's if I don't even buy or uh, purchase another car so I do have the money <clears throat> to purchase a second car but you know I haven't I haven't done anything yet because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the prices of cars to come down you know that there's some Teslas out there that are like on the 40,000, 36, 37, you know, high mileage, you know, 50s, 60s, you know, but Teslas will last you like a long time. So, and maintenance on them is still zero. Um, That's the idea, that's the goal. If something doesn't work out, you know, I, I got other things I'm gonna do with it, but I have to experiment with this because it was a goal that I had in mind and I need to do it. I need to do it. I can't just sit around and drive the Tesla for, for, forever because the idea is to ride share so I can take the money and I can put it into my business. So let's see how it goes. Let's make this money.